hello friends welcome to swing tutorial here is our uh, very first uh, video in this video we are going to create our uh, first uh, j frame you will understand uh, how to display a j frame how to close the j frame and how we will use the content pen So in the previous video series, we talked about AWT. So if you see, Swing is developed on top of AWT. That means if there is a component that inherits some of the functionality from the AWT and then provide rich ui support in the extended version so the extended version is a swing so swing is a set of uh, components uh, which performs are the extended version of awt components so when we talk about awt awt stands for abstract windowing toolkit so we call it as a heavy heavyweight components but swing is lightweight component so we call swing as a lightweight component and awt as a heavyweight component why because awt we know it it's a abstract windowing toolkit that means to render the ui it makes use of windows os or uh, if it is running on mac then the mac os so it makes use of the underlying operating system to render the ui component so whether it is a uh, text box just for example text box check box radio so the uis are uh, equals to the windows uh, so suppose if we take windows os and uh, how a button appears in windows os so the same way awt also renders that text box or button so if it is a checkbox the abstract windowing toolkit renders this checkbox the same way how the underlying os uh, renders it so here we have taken windows as the os so how do you see the checkbox in windows os the same way you will see the checkbox in uh, um, uh, awt but uh, when we talk about swing the swing components are not depending on the windows operating system so what happens here swing components are completely depends on graphics Of Java so it doesn't different depend on the underlying operating system so since it's a graphics the Java swing knows are the components whether it is a text box or a checkbox or a radio button or there are various other components all are rendered by the graphics that means the components are drawn in the frame window or in the container so the container can be anything it can be a frame window it can be an applet it can be a dialog so the components are drawn using the graphics if it is a swing so that's why we call this as a lightweight components so when we talk about swing the swing components starts with j say for example frame frame is a awt component and if you see a letter j j frame then it's a swing component so likewise there are a lot of components say for example so these are all container as well as component let's say a label label is awt abstract windowing toolkit and if you see a j in front of the label then we call this as a swing component 
So label is a component. Since we see J label, we say it as a swing component. All right. So in this video, what we will do, we will display a, a swing frame window. So we already in the previous uh, video series, we started with a frame window, a WT frame window. That means we used the frame class and created a frame window. In the subsequent video, we used that frame window to study the other uh, uh, components. Similarly, here we will create a J frame window and we will study other uh, components. So, since the components are extended version of AWT components, so you will see uh, what are all the rich UI support provided by the swing. So first we will start with uh, J frame. So what we are going to do here, first we will uh, display the J frame. Then we will study what is a content pan. And finally, we will uh, close the J frame. So this is what we are going to do here in this uh, example. All right. If you see here, just like uh, AWT frame, J frame also will have a title. Then it has the standard uh, minimize, restore, and close buttons. So we call this as a title bar. Then here where the difference comes. So in Java AWT, uh, we add the component directly to the container. So that means after creating the frame, we can add component directly to the frame. So here in Swing, people usually get the content pan. That means the content pan will be here. So we will make a call to get content pan. So this will return the content pan attached to the frame window. Then to this content pan, whatever is returned by that get content pan. Here is where we will add our component. That means so first we will set the layout here then we will add the components in this example uh, we are going to set layout to flow layout after that we will add three label so that means the label will get added one by one like this label one label two and label three so when user clicks the close button the window will get closed here we won't uh, use window listener so we no need to implement window listener but we can close this window easily we will see that also here in this example all right now let us go to eclipse demo So since uh, you have been watching this series uh, from uh, basic Java to uh, Swing, I'm not going to repeat the steps of uh, installing the JDK, installing the Eclipse. So here we are using JDK 1.8 and the version is, uh, Eclipse version is Oxygen 3. Here I created a folder like this, then I selected here in the workspace. You can set your own workspace directory. So after you launch all your project related settings goes to this workspace directory. So you can periodically take backup of your workspace so that you can relaunch that workspace.
so once e eclipse is launched we have to create a java project so click file new java project if it is not there you can click other and type java project here so this will filter the uh, available wizard from there you can choose java project so once you suppose if it is not uh, displayed in the file new you can select it like this then you can click next so once you created the project uh, for the first time then it will appear here as your uh, preference the preferred uh, uh, project type or the project wizard so i'll use java project in the filter then i will select this then click next here i am giving project name as a swing examples so in the subsequent video i will use the same project that means i will not create the project in the subsequent video so i will just open this specific workspace that will automatically load this project then i will start adding the um, swing components all right uh, here we specify the project name then specify the execution environment here i have picked java se 1.8 so once you have java installed in your system the eclipse will pick up that uh, runtime environment so if you want to configure then you can configure the jre using the use uh, default jre and you can point a different version of jre but to follow this example uh, i mean this video tutorial um, you can use java se 1.8 so if you use an older version then you may not be able to follow some of the example or you will see uh, some of the api is taking a different uh, parameters or if you are using some advanced version of java se then you may see that i'll be using some deprecated functions here okay uh, let's uh, proceed so our project is ready so the very first step is creating a package so i'm clicking on the right clicking on the project name and i'm clicking new package so package name here i'm giving it as tube.coding.examples you can choose uh, uh, any package name so once the package is ready then um, creating a new class so this will be our uh, program entry main entry so name uh, i provided it as a main entry then uh, since this is a program main entry we are asking to uh, give void main so once i check this eclipse will provide the main entry function for us uh, nothing needs to be changed here in this uh, dialog so i'm clicking finish and you can see eclipse generated a boilerplate code for us so we will come to the main uh, program main entry later uh, we will create our j frame then uh, from the program main we will call our j frame and we will display that so we are creating one more class class name i am giving it as j frame demo and if you see it already took a package as a tube dot coding examples let me click cancel so if you click your project name 
and ask to create a new class since there is only one package it is automatically displaying it if there are multiple package we can always uh, choose here and browse after selecting the package you can give your uh, class name here i am giving the class name as jframe demo so we need to extend our uh, jframe demo from So once I type a few letters, you can see that JFrame class is displayed here. Also, you can notice the package here is JavaX.swing. So for AW3, it will be let me type it Java dot AWT dot frame. So the frame is from Java dot AWT but the jframe extends from frame so that comes from java x extended version and then the package is a swing next comes the jframe so our class name is a jframe demo and we are extending that from javax.swing.jframe now we will click finish next we need a constructor for our jframe so in the outline window you can right click or even in the source window you can right click then go to source generate constructor from super class this is the option you can choose or we can right click the class name here in the outline window then go go to source menu and click uh, generate constructors from super class so we no need to generate all version of constructor so i just need only jframe and frame title string this version so i'm picking that and i'm clicking ok that means we are going to use this jframe class inside this main entry so we can construct our jframe demo by supplying the title from frame after that we can display it all right now i'm clicking ok and you can see uh, the eclipse uh, generated the constructor for us here the super title is actually making call to the jframe constructor and you can see the description here jframe string title first we will specify the size and the position so here we specify 20 comma 20 int x and int y that represents the x and y location of the top left corner of the window if you see for this tooltip window this is the top left corner so similarly 20 comma 20 means from windows desktop 20 x coordinate 20 y coordinate so our windows top left corner will appear here jframe windows top left corner after that we specified width as 400 this will be the width and height as 210 so after defining the uh, location the first two parameter and then size width and height uh, third and fourth parameter we get the content pan so if you see here the method what we use is get content pan and we are making this call from jframe class so our frame window is extending from frame i mean j frame so this will give us the container so we name that as a control host
next we create a three labels and if you see i am importing these labels from javax.swing so so this is the first component we are going to use in this example so jframe is the container and jlabel is the um, component So if you see, we got the content pan uh, and we are storing that in a control host. Now we are setting layout as a flow layout. So the layout is from AWT. So we are mixing a swing and AWT here. So after this, we add all three label, label one, label two and label three to our control host. So the control host is nothing but the content pan which we retrieved from our uh, JFrame. So the content pan was already attached to the JFrame by the swing framework. So we retrieve that content pan that means the container attached to that uh, JFrame. Then we are adding our controls to that content pan. So unlike awt in awt we won't get content pan we will directly add the components to the uh, awt frame window but here we get the content pan and then we add the controls to our content pan in awt we have to handle the window closing using the window listener or adapter class or anonymous inner class here in swing um, we are using the JFrame, right? We can make a call to set default close operation, and there are a variety of constant available here. So here I am using a exit on close. So the other famous option is dispose on close. I guess just a minute. Let me copy to clipboard. Yes, and dispose on close. And if you see the dispose window default windows of close operation okay that will disposes the window here we want to exit the application if you see here we no need to handle the uh, window closing and we can still close the window so that's all now we will run so a quick uh, walkthrough of what we did there are uh, six steps first we set our uh, frame windows size and position then uh, we retrieved the content pan attached to this frame window then we added three labels i mean we created three labels we set flow layout to our frame window. After that, we added uh, the three labels to the content pan, which is managed by the flow layout. Then we are setting the close operation as exit on close. Now we have to create this J frame in main entry. So let us switch to the main entry Java. This is the very first class we created after starting the project. Here we are creating the instance of our JFrame. So this is the instance in JFrame. Then we are providing the title for our frame window, swing frame window. Then we are setting the visible property to true. So it's almost the same like what we did for uh, uh, awt frame in the previous uh, playlist now let me run this and you can see this is the swing uh, frame window and you can see the label label 1 label 2 and label 3 all right now we will close this uh, window so this will be the basic uh, video for all the subsequent video
so in all subsequent video what we will do uh, we will still we will change this according to the uh, next examples I mean the size and position we will change that means inside the constructor we will add we will study the new components that means we will create all the components here inside the constructor then if you want to handle the event we will handle and uh, uh, inside the handler we will perform other operation so that's how the next videos go so this will be the basic video so once you create the project you save this uh, project uh, workspace in the next coming videos we will be modifying only this constructor or we will be adding new classes so that's all here in this video and if you see uh, as told we created a frame window then now you know what is content pan we used the git content pan then we set the layout as a flow layout and you saw we added a three labels l1 l uh, three labels label 1, label 2, label 3, so that's the text given to the label. After that we also set the default close operation and close operation we asked to exit the application. That's all here in this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye.